In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to show you how to automate a tempo change. Now here I've got a simple MIDI lick programmed with expand on a pop brass. Let's listen to this. This is the original. Now I've got the metronome going so you can really hear the tempo. Now let's say the second time that played through, I wanted this to go a lot slower. Well, I'd need to automate a tempo change. You do that by first dropping down the tempo menu, which is this right here. Now there's two ways to resize this. You can either click and drag here, up to make it smaller, down to make it bigger. And then you can also zoom in and out over here. So you can either zoom in or zoom out. I usually like to zoom out more so you can really see all the different tempo changes. Now to insert a tempo change, use the pencil tool and I'm in grid mode, and just click where you want it to happen. So I want it to happen in bar four here where the second iteration comes in. So I'll click. Now you'll notice it inserted a tempo change, and it changed it to 115, it looks like. Well, I don't want 115, so go to the grabber tool. And if you put your cursor on that line, it'll change to that, and drag down to go slower. Be sure to watch those numbers up there as they go down. Let's go to, let's say, 70. Okay. Now let's play it back and listen. And there you have it. It's very simple. Um, you don't have to do it in grid mode, but a lot of the times you'll end up doing it just on the bars just to make it a little bit cleaner looking. And that's how you automate the tempo changes in Pro Tools LE.